Good afternoon, families. My name is Diane. I'm a new face here at the Early On Center. We are located in Mary Ward School here in Niagara Falls. I'm actually here at the center um, today, although we are not open yet for the families, hopefully soon. Uh, a little bit about myself. I'm a registered ECE along with the BA in Early Childhood. I have previous experience working with the early on programs and the daycare and kindergarten classrooms, as well as I'm a mom to three children. Uh, welcome to Ask an ECE. You can find us here every Tuesday at 2.30, and you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. During these sessions, we will be answering specific questions that families may have. Some topics will include child development, sleep schedules, and tummy time. If you have any questions you'd like to ask an ECE or a topic you'd like to focus for us to focus on, you can email us at um, early on at ncdsb.com or send a direct message on Facebook Messenger and we can include that on our Tuesday Ask an ECE sessions. Today's focus is encouraging children to develop fine motor skills. Fine motor skills involve the use of small muscles in our hands, our wrists, our fingers. Children use these muscles to coordinate with their brain with what they are seeing along with the action. Developing these muscles um, include actions like grasping, holding, pressing, using a pincer grip, which, which is using the forefinger and thumb. Helping your child develop these motor skills will encourage stronger small muscles in these areas uh, for progression in development and learning. We use fine motor skills to hold a fork or using a pencil to write. So developing these skills in your children as they move through infancy, to toddlerhood, and into the preschool years will help them with their pencil skills in school. As a young infant, you can encourage these skills when they first begin scribbling and then eventually coloring and drawing. This will help them progress to eventually forming lines, crossing over those lines, and then writing letters. You can introduce cutting skills with child-friendly scissors while supervising them. Children will need help and guidance with how to hold scissors with placements of their thumbs and their fingers. You can help them open and close the scissors by putting your hand over their hand and helping to guide them with opening and closing the scissors. You can begin introducing child-friendly scissors with Play-Doh at a young age and they can practice these skills of opening and closing um, their hand while safely attempting to cut. During playtime, you can offer toys like Lego blocks, Duplo blocks, trains, puzzles, uh, lots of fun activities, anything that they can manipulate with their hands. And another great way to help your child develop these skills is when your child is getting dressed, you can encourage their fine motor skills by allowing them extra time to attempt dressing skills like tying shoelaces, doing up sandals, zippers, buttons, belts, um, lots of different ideas. And then lastly, some tips for the different age groups. Um, for infants, you can offer different sized toys that are safe to hold for your baby to practice holding the toys using their whole hand. You can offer different toys for your baby to pass back and forth. This will encourage coordination and your baby transferring the toy from um, hand to hand. You can offer finger foods to encourage your baby to place their forefinger and their thumb, picking up these small items using their pincer grasp. You can offer large crayons and encourage your baby to make marks or scribbles on the paper. And for toddlers, um, again, you can offer large crayons to hold and scribble on paper. You can offer the child-friendly scissors uh, during play with Play-Doh. Encourage your child to turn the pages of a book. This will help them to move from holding with their whole hand to using their forefinger and their thumb. You can place different sized toys in containers for your child to take out. For preschool, uh, you can encourage your child to independently dress themselves so that they can practice coordination and practice um, skills pushing, pulling, manipulating small items like buttons and zippers. 
offer your child utensils like spoons and forks to independently feed themselves. Offer materials like large beads to string together and scissors to practice cutting paper and following a straight line. You can offer a variety of writing and drawing tools like markers, crayons, and pencils during their playtime. There's lots of opportunity throughout the day for children to practice these skills. And um, I'll leave a link uh, in the comments with some more activities that you can incorporate into your child's play to encourage um, all of these skills. And also, uh, just to let you know, um, Public Health also has an event coming up uh, this Friday at 2 p.m. It's called Introducing Solid Foods to Your Baby and you can find out more information on our Facebook page. So thank you very much for joining me um, for Ask an ECE. And next week you will see Karen uh, for the Ask an ECE. And bye for now.